Welcome to lecture 47, optional parameters. So there are actually two topics I want to go over in this lecture. The first is optional parameters, like I said, and the second is named arguments. They both fall in the same ballpark, so that's why I'm going to cover them both in this lecture. I'm going to start off by going over optional parameters. And optional parameters are exactly what they sound like. They are parameters that are optional. But it, it all comes down to actually how we define them as being optional. So let's start off with a simple example with our adding machine again, where we had that function public static void add int x int y. Then we say int answer equals x plus y, counts that right line answer. So we have this situation, our add function that adds two numbers and prints it. Now, these parameters, x and y, are not optional. That means that in order to use this function called add, you need to give them both. So if I try to go add just 5 alone, if I just do 5, we can see it's going to give me an error. And that's because the y, or the second integer, is mandatory. It's not optional. So you have to do it. So how do I actually define it as being optional? So you need to think about it logically here for a second. If I make y optional, what happens to my code here? If y isn't necessary, then it will be x plus nothing. And that doesn't really make sense, so it really isn't adding anything together. I mean, adding makes sense because you're adding two numbers together. In this case, if I wanted to make y optional, what makes sense is to give it a default value. And that's exactly what you do to make it optional. You give it a default value. So I'll say that if you don't supply me a y, my function still needs it, but I'll just make it, a, I'll make it go to its default value. And in this case, we'll say that the default value of y is 1. So if I just go equals 1 inside of the parameter list right here, now that says if you don't give me a y, I'll use the default value of 1. Watch. When I run that, it says 6 because I passed in 5 for x, and then that's it. So they said, okay, you didn't give me a y. I'll use the default value, which is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. However, I can just simply go, okay, add 5, comma 5. I can overwrite that default value. Oops. I can overwrite that default value by actually putting in the number. So 5, comma 5. It says, okay, you gave me a y. So instead of using the optional parameter, I'm going to use what you actually gave me, which is that 5. So I'll plug that in and do 5 plus 5 instead. So any single time you want to actually do an optional parameter, you just say equals and some kind of default value, and that will be the value that is used if you do not supply one. Okay, now I want to go over named arguments. So named arguments basically allow us to specify what parameter we're actually talking about. Because by default, it, it's based in order. So the first number goes to the first parameter. The second number goes to the second parameter. That's the default behavior. But what if I wanted to say, oh, I wanted to change that up and say the first one goes to the second one, or maybe this, the second one goes to the first one. Now, I can't necessarily do that always, but sometimes I can. And that's named arguments. So let's make this a little bit more complicated. Let's add another number, int z. And I'll give it a default value of 2. So I have three numbers now, and I'll make sure my equation factors that in by going x, y, z, and that's the answer. So I have three numbers. Now, it also is a default value, so if I don't supply one, it will add two. So the answer, for, the answer to this will be 5 plus 1 plus 2, so 5, 6, 7, 8. If I run that, we see that 8, and then 5 plus 5 is 10, and that default value of the last one is 2. That's why I'm getting that 12. So I have three parameters now. Let's say in this case, I want it. I want the five to go to the x, the first five to go to the x, but I want this second five to be the z value. I want to use the default y. In this setup right now, I can't do that because it, as soon as I put in the second five, it use it, that five goes to y. I can't force it to go to z. Well, I can, but I don't know how to. And if I put in another number, that will replace z. So right now, I, there's no way that I can say this 5 goes to z and use the default value of y instead. 
However, I mean, it doesn't really make that much sense in this example. Whereas, like, okay, why am I doing this anyway? But I'm just trying to show you the point because in some situations, it would make sense. So the way you can force it, the way I can say, okay, 5 goes to x, but then the second 5 goes to z, and use the default value of y instead, the way I do that is by using a named argument, and the way I actually specify the name. So I say z. I want to use z, and I do colon, and then the value of z, so I'll say 5. So now in this situation, I'm saying, okay, the 5 will go to x, but instead of going instead of the second number going to the second parameter, I'm forcing it into z. So it says z is now 5, and then the second parameter will use its default value of 1 because I didn't specify another one. I could then say, okay, y colon 5 also. So now it's completely in random order because I'm actually specifying the parameter's names. But if I wanted to keep it like this, we could see what happens if I run this. The answer is 11 because 5 plus 5 is 10, and we're using the default value of 1 for y, because I'm going x, z, instead of the default x, y, z, if you don't actually specify the name. So what I want you to get out of this is, if you don't use a named argument, and you don't say anything with naming, it's always in order. The first argument will be the first parameter. The second argument will be the second parameter, and so on. But you can change that order by using a named parameter and specifying, I want this one to be the third parameter, or I want the, the first one to be the fourth parameter. And by doing that, you can use different default values. Because without this method, I could never get the default value for y, but then also actually passing the value for z. Using named arguments, it allows me to do that.